Say hi. All right. Oh, okay. Go by the cars. I see. Here is another little uh, wheelchair, another version of the, the famous bumbo chair that you may have seen in many uh, websites, even many videos. Uh, there are some modifications that I made to this chair uh, compared, compared to the other bumbo chair. So I would like to, this video is to show you some of those differences and perhaps that will be a help to you if you're thinking about making a chair for your child. And uh, so uh, again, it's very similar to just the typical bumble chair, but notice this white thing here, the chair is different, right? And the reason uh, is because of the needs of my child, my child's condition, uh, sacral agenesis, uh, caudal regress regression, doesn't allow her to put her legs into a bumble chair. And so the bumbo idea doesn't work for all children. And uh, I think it works, works in most cases, but maybe it will not work for your child. But hey, you can just put a different type of chair. Now this was made for us by a hospital here in the US called uh, Shriners. And, uh, but uh, this is just one piece that somebody made and it was, it was a blessing that they gave that to us. Uh, now with experience, however, if uh, we were to do it all over again, I think this panel would not be so long. We made it long uh, trying to model something called a star cart. Uh, but, uh, and the idea is that the child will be able to climb on this. See, and, and it's, it's possible. And my, my daughter started doing this recently. But see, she's three and a half. So climbing on it works well when the child is older. But really when she was little, she started using this when she was a year and a half. Uh, she really wasn't able to do that. And so, if I were to do it again, I would just simply make this half the size so that your child can just reach things better in front of her. Uh, the big difference, I think, in the design of this one is the what's under under it. Okay, so let me show you here the, the underside. Many of the recommendations that I saw online uh, said that you should weld things and get a welder to do it for you. But this does not require any welding. Okay, you see this one is simply put together by screwing things together. And you can see how it is put together with just, you know, screws and different pieces. This is, you know, an L bar here, and this is just aluminum. And uh, you have to drill the holes and make it fit. And uh, one side is all you need to hold those wheels. And uh, so no welding needed, it makes things a lot simpler. This is, you know, the cutting board. Uh, another difference uh, from what I've seen in many places is that often I see these bumbo chairs and they put two, four, uh, four caster wheels, two in the front, two in the back, but this one only has one, uh, really, because I figure that you really only need one, not two. It was, there was never a problem with her uh, falling or anything like that. One thing I would do differently, though, is this one, the big one in particular, the one for the back, if I were to do it all over again, I would use a different chair, a different caster wheel, something uh, that is, resembles this. Now, they're hard to find, and uh, but you might be able to find something like this. This one is on air, okay? This is a bicycle wheel. and uh, But so something better than this, I think, will be a good improvement. Now, keep in mind, though, that when you are pushing this chair with the child in it, the, the, the rear wheel is really not touching the ground. You're just going on two wheels. So it really, it really makes it for a smooth ride. You can even go on the grass and you can still push her. Now, when, when the child rides on her own, that's when, when you are going to be using that back wheel. The front wheel is there only for emergencies. Only if you go really fast and then suddenly you have to do a, you know, space shuttle style uh, stop. Now on the back, this handle is just simply a walking cane. And the thing to hold the handle is just this thing to hold a flag uh, on your wall. Uh, the lights on it, you know, it's just a cool thing, a fun thing, but actually I found them to be really helpful. Not, not just for cars to see her, but even for people to see her as we walk, sometimes in busy places where it's really crowded. And it was nice to have a light. I noticed that whenever we would have the light on, people would get out of her way. And that can be really helpful when you're trying to get places. Otherwise, people don't see her. It's really low to the ground. 
or you know everybody wants to stop and say hi but the lights almost just tell people hey here we come uh, please let us go through and uh, so uh, everything else about it is basically the same ideas that you may see in other videos or in online resources where it is simply a bumbo chair notice there's by the way another light well, you can put tons of lights on this and, and it, it's uh, really fun to do that but it really helps uh, the the wheel can stay with just one side if you screw only one side that's all you need you don't need to put the the wheel into two sides it's one of those things i was wondering about and one of the beauties about this using screws is that you can adjust the angle you see right there there's a little bit of an angle and uh, you have to you know determine what is best for your child in fact at first when i made it the angle was a bit too much for my daughter so i had to adjust it and it wasn't hard because it wasn't welded so there it is another bumbo chair and uh without a bumbo okay so just another little um infant wheelchair uh, my daughter started using this when she was about one and a half is when uh, she started and uh, we got it really excited and she's really always used it and so i'm doing this with the rain because tomorrow i am handing this over to another child that has the same condition so i hope that it will be a blessing to that child and i hope this will be a blessing to you as well as you may prepare a chair like this for your child put your hands inside please i'll do it valerie could you put your hands in thank you